Hey everybody, this is Big G from MakeWowGold.com and I wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to set up uh, your World of Warcraft with the routing feature, the routing add-on, along with the GatherMate add-on, which together combine to make the shortest route between known spawn points of minerals or herbs and allows you to farm very, very quickly. Um, I've made another video and I've gotten a lot of questions on specifically how to set up the add-ons. So we're going to try to walk you through what I think is the best way to do it. And uh, then if you need more information, you can go watch the other video. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go to curse.com. Curse is a site that has a ton of add-ons for World of Warcraft. The thing that you want to do is find where it says the curse client. And you want to download the curse client and install it. And what you'll do is you'll create an account with curse.com and then you will run this curse client from your computer and it will help you choose which add-ons you want to use and it helps you keep them updated. It's, it provides a really cool interface so we're going to look at it right now. Okay, once you install the Curse Client on your system and run it, you'll have a little Curse kind of flame icon and when you, you can choose add-ons by going to this Find an Add-on tab and it will retrieve the list and you can start searching for something that you want. The ones that you want to look for, we're specifically looking for, is uh, regular routes, not cartographer routes. And just search for gather, you can search for gather mate, and you'll find gather mate and gather mate data. And those are the important ones that you're going to want to use. Okay. I mean, it's very simple. You click on them and hit install, and it will actually automatically install it into your add-ons folder. You don't have to download something, unzip it, copy it to your add-ons folder. If you don't know how to do that, that's okay. This curse client makes it like literally one click and you're done. Then, once you've chosen all the add-ons you want, you know, in the future, when you open up the curse client, which I recommend doing before, every time you play, uh, you'll see if there's any updates. The ones that are uh, updated have this little curved arrow by them and it's literally as simple as right clicking on it and saying update and uh, um, client will go out and download it extract it meaning like unzip it and install it to the correct folder and make sure that you have the latest greatest version so you can see the installed version and the latest version it's got a little icon that shows you if, if they've been recently updated um, the ones that are in bold and the ones that are not in bold are running the current version. So that's the Curse Client tool, and I highly recommend that I can just avoid so many problems by using the Curse Client to keep your add-ons updated. Once you have your download installed, you're going to want to go to the add-on screen within WoW once you launch it. This is going to bring up a list of add-ons, and I like to check the load out-of-date add-ons. You want to look for the routes add-on, as well as the uh, gathermate and gathermate data, and you want to make sure those are checked on, that there's no dependencies that are missing, and uh, those will be uh, the three that you're going to want to look for. Hit OK, and you can log in. Okay, once you're in, the next step is to run the GatherMate add-on by typing slash GatherMate, and that will open up the GatherMate window. And the first thing you're going to want to do if you've never used GatherMate before is use this Import Data button. If you click on that and, in, and click on the GatherMate data, you'll see a screen that opens up over here check which uh, databases you want to import. So I'm both an herbalist and a miner, so I want both of those checked. I also like to fish from time to time, so I have that checked too. Uh, I don't have fine treasure ability, 
because I'm a gnome and I don't have gas clouds because I'm not an engineer. Um, I don't want to limit this to just the expansion packs. You can if you want to just limit it to Wrath of the Lich King, you can install just those. But uh, I don't want to limit it, so I'm not going to do that. And then you click this Import Gathermate Data, and it will give you a, a message here that says that Gathermate Data has been imported. While you're here then, once that happens, then you can go to the General Display Settings and check whether to show the mining nodes and uh, you know where, where to show them on the mini-map and so forth, how big to scale them. And what it will do is it will actually plot um, empty circles on your mini-map for uh, a location that can have herb or an ore or minerals and as you get close enough to it it will either remain empty or it will fill in with the yellow dot that you would normally see um, but it's just showing you where they can show up okay so that's gather mate once you've got that you're gonna come back down and type slash routes and that brings up your routes uh, dialog box you want to add a route you're going to select the zone that you want to use so if you wanted to do it in ice crown you would select that you can call this I'm just going to call this ice crown demo okay and I'm going to create the route from data sources and I'm just going to leave gathermate checked and this is telling me this this is a way that you know that you had your data imported correctly if you check that on it should tell you down here you should see herbalism ice thorn herbalism lich bloom and the three different types of ore that they find with mining and how many nodes that the database contains so if you've imported it you should have some data showing up here and you can check which ones you want to have plotted on your map and then hit create route. Now once you've created that route you have to go over to the routes and open it up and it has it listed by zone so we're going to open up the ice crown zone here's ice crown demo when I highlight that route this is where I get um, the option to shrink the route. I'm going to optimize it. First I'm going to cluster. Once you're done clustering uh, you can then optimize and you can choose to either optimize in the foreground or the background. Um, and you can choose whether or not you want extra optimization on. That's up to you. I prefer to do it in the foreground with extra optimization on and just do it at a dedicated time and just let the computer churn and uh, it will give you uh, the best route. Sometimes if you're doing it in the foreground it can disconnect you if it takes too long. Um, but that's it. That's how to set it up and what you end up with. You get something that looks like this. A route that goes between uh, the spawn points and this will actually show up with this line on the minimap and you can just fly along from point to point and pick them. Uh, either pick the herbs or mine the ore. Well, listen, I hope this tutorial helps you, and I wish you all the best in your gold-making ventures. This is Big G from MakeWowGold.com.